Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a weekly reading for Cancer from the 20th to the 26th of August 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box and if you'd like a private video reading I put the details in the description box as well. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some messages uh, if this reading resonates with you. I'm just drawing some cards for the general energy reading and then I will do the general tarot reading afterwards. And uh, let's see. So the first card you've got the shield which says you need to defend yourself. There's something with the casket that says that somebody's going out of your life or ending of a situation. So something's ending. You need to defend yourself and leg is stepping into a new experience. So you're going to be ending something, something is changing, a big change coming in and you will be moving in a new direction because it's stepping into a new experience and make sure you're defending yourself all through the way. So defend your beliefs, stand up for what you believe in. In the past you've got the camel which says preserve uh, and you will overcome any, persevere sorry, and you will overcome any problem. So you have been going for it and you've been hanging in there and you know, you are getting through problems. With the owl, you've got some good advice coming in from people. So somebody has been supporting you and giving you some advice that you have been taking and you're managing to overcome some problems with this advice that you're getting. So um, going to the future, you've got the uh, man card, which says you'll be dealing with uh, a person, a, a male, another male, um, or dealing with a male. And you've got a wish being granted with the wishbone card. So something that you wanted um, is coming true, or uh, some kind of wish that you wanted is coming true. Remember to defend, remember that you need to defend yourself uh, and remember uh, to make sure that um, uh, you know, you are dealing with somebody, this man might be the person that you might uh, need to defend yourself against. So you've got a wish coming through and you are getting advice that is helping you step forward into the future. So an ending of some old situation and a moving forward into a new situation, defend yourself and some sort of wish coming true for you. I do apologize for the noise. This is on a main road and it uh, seems like everybody rushes through here and makes a big noise. <laughs> okay, so um, it's very distracting. So um, I'm just going to do the general tarot read. Okay, so the main card is the King of Cauldrons, um, and this is generally um, a card that shows a person who is very supportive, uh, you know, it could be a father figure that you go to for emotional support, somebody who you can rely on, who has seen it all, done it all, and is very stable, they're not very emotionally driven but they will give you that emotional support that you need. So you are going to this person and asking this person for advice. This is an older person and they are in your experience at the moment and they help you calm the situation down and calm your emotions down as well. So you are relying on this person or you are, will be going to this person for advice. If there is a person like this in your surroundings, this is the person you should go to and ask them to give you that support that you need. So the main situation is that you've got the Eight of Cauldrons and the Lovers. So you've made a choice to leave a situation. A choice has been made and you've decided that you are leaving a situation. The situation might have involved two people, two, it looks like two females here. And you've also left behind a lot of your emotional baggage behind because you're leaving behind three cups here and you're walking. You've chosen your path. You've taken what you need to take, whatever lessons, whatever things. Maybe you're just taking your things and going and leaving what is not serving you behind and you're abandoning it and moving forward into the future. So you have turned your back, you're not turning, you're not standing and looking back at these people, you're leaving them behind and walking away from a situation. And this is the choice that you have made right now with this lover's card. 
maybe you have turned your back if it's crossed and you've turned your back on any kind of love relationship that you had and you're moving away from it so it seems like you're moving away from something that maybe it, maybe it was a, a love relationship that you were involved in so in the past year you've got the chariot uh, you may have moved house as well uh, moved away from a situation as well and you're all determined to do whatever you want to do so you're taking control back of your life moved home uh, and you're taking back you're very determined to get things done uh, you've got a lot of fire a lot of determination your emotions are intact you are not uh, you know you are not being um, swayed by emotional issues anymore you've got the fire and determination and you're going to move forward you've planned and you are ready to move so uh, in the last three months, some sort of event has happened, which is the Tower card, which shows that, you know, there was a destruction, a, a breakdown, a, a big revelation that came that turned your whole life upside down. And uh, it's caused, uh, you know, a lot of trauma in your life as well. So you're very upset about it. it you know, you were, it looks like you were thrown out of that situation and, and it was events that you could not control. So uh, something big happened in your life that caused a big major upheaval in your life. And maybe this is why you are moving away, you are taking your things and you are going away from it. So something happened within this relationship that made you make the choice to move away from it. So the seven of cauldrons is on your mind. You've got a lot of plans, a lot of ideas, a lot of things you want to do. And all these things are going to be uh, good options and they will provide you with some emotional fulfillment. Uh, and you're trying to pick what you want to do. So you're trying to make a decision as to what you want to do next with your life. So something for the future, you've got dreams and plans for the future. So you've got the wise one, which is the hermit card. Uh, you will be spending some time by yourself and maybe getting uh, to grips with whatever happened, uh, whatever decisions you made, maybe feeling a little lonely, but not so lonely as not to get any growth. So you are growing and you are transforming and you've got new ideas and new plans and you're just taking some time to yourself to get maybe all your ducks in a row, if you like. So you are getting uh, all your ideas and things uh, in order and you are spending a lot more time by yourself and, and getting to know yourself again, it seems. Uh, so the Knight of Swords, uh, this might be you because um, this falls in your energies. Uh, the Knight of Swords talks about you know rushing into fights and arguments, um, doing things too quickly. Um, so you know you might just slow down Get your emotions back in order again. Don't get um, riled up over things that people say. Don't rush into battles too quickly. Uh, just think before you act, really, because with the Knight of Swords, they tend to just be very hot-headed. And so you need to just get yourself in order, calm down, think clearly first before you do anything. So don't run into fights. Pick your battles. The High Priestess shows that you are somebody that's using your instincts. An old situation ended, a new one's beginning, and you are going by your intuition now. Uh, if people are withholding information, make sure that you have all the facts before making any big decisions. But it shows a card of a lot of prosperity and abundance coming in, so growth coming in. But you need to follow your instincts and follow your, uh, your intuition. And you want to be able to stand on your own two feet again. Uh, you know, with the two of rods, you're making plans. You are deciding what to do and you are going for it. And you are standing above the crowd, looking down at whatever, because this man's standing on stilts. So you'll review the situation from quite a distance. And you're trying to take, make a decision that is not emotionally based. So you are trying to look at it from a very objective point of view and above the situation. You're trying to rise above whatever happened to you. So going into the future, you've got the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So a lot of anxiety and stress that has been brought out by this, um, whatever the situation was, where you had to move away. You are very feeling very tied up, very anxious. Maybe you're not sleeping well at night. You're having a lot of nightmares. A new truth is coming in. Um, some information that is heading your way uh, not, may not be... Um, information that you want to hear but it's definitely going to be the truth and it's going to set you free uh, and the sword will cut through all these ties and bonds so whatever is coming in is going to break all these chains um, that are holding you all these uh, bad memories uh, it's going to cut it out of your life and get rid of it so some information coming in that's going to make you see things from a very different perspective and it will allow you to focus on your work so whatever information or truth that is coming in will cut away that past, uh, the grieving that you're going through in the past, 
and will allow you to focus on your work. Your work involves, uh, you know, you're learning on the job, so um, it's going to be a lot of hard work. So it will allow you to focus back on your work and regain your uh, independence. Um, so you're, you're, uh, you are going to be spending a lot more time at work, doing a lot of work and learning on the job. You might be taking some courses or higher education, getting your new skills with this job. So something that's going to mean uh, education coming in. So it's going to help you get rid of all this anxiety and stress that you are feeling. So relying on your own intuition. With the Hermit card also, it talks about um, studying, spending time studying, getting knowledge. So you might go back into taking new courses, maybe doing a degree, getting more education, uh, so that it will take you away from this emotional uh, drama that you went through and you are moving forward now because you are determined not to let anything stand in your way anymore. Okay, I'm just going to draw three cards from this um, Archangel Tarot. The first card is the Six of Air, which says things are looking up and the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip. So uh, your decision to move seems to have been the right thing because you are moving away from uh, trouble. See, there's a lot of fire in the back. You're in a boat, a place of safety. You're moving away from all this uh, trouble that was there and you're moving into a, a better situation and things are going to be looking up. And you've got the five of earth. They say you might also be taking a trip. So you might be traveling in connection with your work as well. So you've got the five of earth. Um, and it says fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, um, uncertain self-employment. So you are worried a lot about your money as well and your spending. And uh, you need to accept some sort of financial advice or help from others if you are having hard times at this particular moment. And the last card is the Eight of Earth, which says skill work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So there is definitely a uh, going back into learning, especially with these Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit is talking about going back and learning new skills, taking new courses, maybe seminars, but you are getting new information coming in, and that is where you are going to be focused. You've got two Earth cards, that means you your focus will change from emotional uh, problems into, um, you know, um, more of um, you focus more on your work and that will distract you from any kind of emotional distress that you are feeling so focus more on your job and that will allow you to heal from any kind of emotional problems there is somebody there that will give you uh, emotional support the king of cauldrons which is probably a father figure and this is somebody that you can turn to and they will advise you in, on how to get through the, through the situation try not to rush into fights and battles uh, preserve your energy because you don't want to get uh, into trouble uh, when you don't need to. So try to focus on your work and try and focus on, on this new information or this new learning course that you are going to be taking soon. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments uh, if this message has resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.